Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball and Excel Archery, and I have the new AVX scope I'm going to go through with you today. So as you can tell, uh, we have two different sizes. We have an AVX 31 and an AVX 41. Those are same as our AV series. So that's one similarity you're going to find uh, in the new scope, as well as some others that I'll go through as we take the scope apart and put it back together uh, in a lot of different configurations to suit different aspects of archery or different styles of archery. So, the AVX41 was designed as one of the most premier scopes that you can purchase for any type of archery, whether it be hunting, target, 3D, you name it, we've got a scope that can work for you. So I'm going to start out with something new for the AVX series scopes, and that is our patented ring pin technology. As you can see, we have a ring pin installed on this AVX31, and I also have one on this 41, but I'm going to take it apart and show you that what se separates us from our existing AV series of scopes. So the our patent is uh, the ring pin attaching to the outer diameter of the scope housing. So as I take this apart you'll be able to see that the actual scope housing and the ring pin mate together by the ring pin going on the outer diameter of the scope housing. So this is new for the AVX series. Our existing 31 series and 41 series ring pins actually fit inside of the, ring, the scope housing and then you could adjust it to get up, down, right or left pins. So you can do the same with this with the notches in the housing to locate your pin so you know it's exactly coming up from the bottom or the side, the top uh, or the opposite side. So that is new for the AVX series scope. It's not new to Excel because we've had that patent with our existing recurve scope. We've just incorporated it into our larger diameter uh, compound and recurve scopes. So with that, uh, some other cool features, and you can kind of see that in the, in the AVX 31 that I'm holding by looking at the back side, is a new surface texture on the inside diameter of the housing. So this is uh, created to reduce glare for sun or for you know bright light situations where some is bouncing off so the inside diameter of the scope housing. That texture or lined surface reduces that glare quite a bit. So that's a new feature that is in all of the accessories as well as in the scope housing. So the 31 and 41 both are right hand or left hand ambidextrous. Uh, as you can see, we've got a new style of bubble in the housing here. So this is still a standard eight millimeter bubble. However, it's quite a bit longer. It's a little more visible uh, in our opinion. So that's why we have chose to put this one inside uh, the bottom portion of the scope housing. So if you're wanting to switch this over to a left hand, you simply take the screws out of that and there's a level blank that we're calling it on the top that will come standard with all the scopes that can be also removed with two set, uh, screws and switched over to a left-handed. So they're ambidextrous and they are you know, standard as far as uh, you know, scope lenses that we have uh, offered in the past. So anything that you have for an AV series scope as far as the lens concerns, uh, the diameter will fit in here. One thing that I also want to mention that's going to be new for the AVX series of scopes is reverting back to that lens. We no longer have a lens frame, so now all you're going to have to get is a lens spacer. So the spacer simply sets in the housing and then you can set your lens in uh, to protect it from the bottom of the aluminum that's going to set on and then a, re a lens retainer locks all of that in place. So. There's many different ways you can shoot that, uh, this scope with a lens, without a lens, and I want to kind of go through that now and show you how you can configure it to whatever type of archery you're shooting. So I'm going to start by showing you how the scope comes from the factory if you were to order just a scope. So new for 2022 is the direction in which we are selling these scopes. So no longer will you have to order a plus series scope. When you order a scope, you will get the torque ring indicator, the equipment to make uh, or install a lens, which includes the lens retainer, which is this piece that has 
two sets of threads on it, and a lens spacer. You will also get the pieces here that I'm going to take apart, and this is the ring pin lock ring. So this is going to either lock the ring pin on or this spacer that takes the space of a ring pin should you not want to use a ring pin and just a lens. So those are the items that are going to come with the scope when you order it. So we wanted to make sure that if somebody ordered a scope, they got everything they needed to install a lens. And then all the other options are sold as accessories. So um, should you want uh, a hood, we sell, we sell each hood separately. So you can see some of the hoods here. We've got a, uh, this is a step down shade and then we have a full shade or a long shade is what we're calling it. Uh, and those are threaded in a manner that they can fit anywhere on the scope housing. So those are sold separately or sold as a kit. So that's, that's an option. Uh, if you want a ring pin, of course the ring pins are sold up uh, as a accessory and you can get uh, you know, gre uh, green, blue, red, or yellow colors in the 10 or the 19,000 size. So this ring pin also has a rheostat cover on it, which is our version of dimming the amount of natural light that gets to the ring pin or to the fiber. So when you pop this on, you can slide this on the outer diameter of the scope housing and it covers up more or less fiber depending on how bright you want your pin. So these are two options as well that are sold separately or sold as a kit on our price list for 2022. So now we know the scope, the way it comes is a standard setup uh, with the torque ring indicator and all the parts to put a lens in it and as well as our spacer and our lock rings uh, for the spacer. Uh, now I'm going to install a couple of them and then show you a couple of illustrations that I have here, uh, examples of the way the scope is set up. So I've got one tore apart here, so I'm going to install the actual uh, ring pin on it and show you how the ring pin locks in with the retainer ring here. So if you want to drop the ring pin in, you can go, you know, that's an up pin. Or if you want to turn it, you've got slots all around the housing to where you can put it at a 90 degree angle from one side or the other from the bottom, from the top, or from the opposite side. So there's a bunch of different configurations you can put this in. I like an up pin, so we're just going to install it there uh, for video. Once I get the pin locked in place, then I can lock that to the housing with the retainer here. And now my ring pin's locked in. So if an archer wants to use it like this, perfectly fine. Uh, if you want to add more accessories, we can do that as well. I like the new step shade. This new step shade uh, can screw on the front here. And all of our parts this year uh, for the AVX scopes, with the exception of two, are all aluminum. So you'll notice in a lot of our rings, we have uh, rubber O-rings to help lock them in place. So over tightening them is not necessary. Just snug them up and you're good to go. So now I've got my setup. Uh, if I don't want to use a lens, then I can simply screw the retainer, the lens retainer that uh, will do nothing but house my hooded retainer on the end here and I'm all set. Now if I want to, to add the lens, um, I'll show you on uh, one of the 30 ones here. Uh, you simply drop that lens spacer in and the lens. Again, there's no lens frame now for the AVX series and you can lock it in place with the lens retainer. So uh, as far as lighting your pins up or lighting the actual center of the lens, we've got two methods and I want to go through those uh, for you real quick. So new uh, on the AVX series is a hole in the T connector. So once uh, you unwind your fiber, depending on how much you want to unwind and put through the T connector, you can simply feed it through and then that gives access to your light source to hit that fiber. So uh, this is our typical 3 8 32 thread in the back of the T connector uh, and there are several aftermarket secondary light sources that will fit in there 
to light the actual ring pin up. Now, newer methods of shooting, uh, you know, over the years, uh, people have decided they want to shoot with an etch or some type of dot in the lens that they want to illumina illuminate. Uh, so we have added in the top here an 832 uh, threaded hole, and that's on the top and the bottom, depending on if you're shooting right or left-handed. But uh, I've got mine installed uh, on the top here with the secondary light source. And now I can turn that light on and it's going to make my etch, my glow pin, uh, center drilled lens uh, with a fiber pin, uh, or uh, whatever type of uh, dot you're trying to illuminate in the center, it's gonna illuminate that with the light. And there's several, again, different aftermarket light sources that can screw in the top there using a 832 thread. So that's new for our uh, AVX series scopes and for Excel archery. Again, you can use your light source to dim it, to make it brighter, whatever you need to do uh, in that regard. I must mention that that setup is not designed to illuminate the pin. So if you're coming in from the top or the bottom using that 832 hole, you'll want to, uh, you know, that's hitting the center of the lens and the center of the lens only. So it would miss the pin if you had a ring pin in there. So if you're trying to do a pin, again, we're gonna use the eight, uh, 3 8 32 thread pitch on the side. So that is our new AVX series of scopes. Like I said, there's a lot of different options and I'm pretty sure that we have a option that would fit the style of archery you're shooting. So for more information about any of the AVX series scopes, check us out at excelarchery.com.